having my mother undergoing major cardiac surgery and not only being a nurse, but being a daughter and her caregiver, this whole experience with the American College of Surgeons really struck a chord. If the geriatric surgery verification program had been in place, I feel that it would have helped enhance her post-operative outcomes. The Geriatric Surgery Verification Program really brings the evidence-based best practices to older adults. It really fills a critical gap in the U.S. surgical community's care. The goals of the program are to set the standards for the care of older adults who require surgery, to be sure that they get the surgery they want and need, and get it in the best way possible. One of the most important parts of the program is aligning patient goals to treatments, what they want to do in their lives, if they just want to take a walk every day, if they want to go to their daughter's wedding or anything. A particular patient that comes to mind was a lovely lady who was 103 years old. One of the physicians said to the lady, why do you want this surgery? And her answer was, I want to be able to eat chocolate again. And I thought, woman after my own heart. 70% of older adults would rather have independent function than longevity in their life. Programs like the Geriatric Surgery Verification Program maintain functional independence. One of the reasons I got into quality and geriatric surgery was there was a World War II veteran who was 87 years old, and we recognized that he was at great risk for adverse events around surgery. And his goal wasn't necessarily to live a long time, but he really wanted to care for his dog named Major. Older adults undergoing operation are at risk for a number of things. Screening for problems with cognition, potential issues of delirium, their medications, frailty. All of these screens ahead of time is a lot better than seeing them after the operation. There was an 89-year-old pediatrician who became ill and they said to him, well, we'll just put you on antibiotics and maybe you live six months to a year. He went to another hospital and they did pre-op a rehabilitation and then operated on him and he went home and a year later he's still working part-time. If we provide high quality care with fewer complications by addressing the vulnerabilities of older patients, the benefit will be not just to the patients but to the whole healthcare system. The time is now to hardwire these standards of care into our systems so every patient can receive the type of care that we would want for our loved ones. We would not settle for less. Care has come of age. Care has come of age. Care has come of age.